Alright guys, today we are going to be covering the VK3601H. Now this is the tank that will get you into the Tiger, which is widely known throughout World War II. This tank is, I don't know, I kind of got mixed feelings on it. When it's stock, uh, yeah, this, this tank wasn't any fun at all, not at stock. But now that I got it upgraded here, um, you can see I have the long 88 on it. Or the short 88, rather. This is, you know, just a smaller version of the same gun you will get on the Tiger. Um, uh, just a little less range, a little less penetration on it. But, uh, yeah, this tier at tier 6, this is a really, really good gun. And, of course, you gotta have the turret for it. Now, I do not have the fully upgraded engine, which will give me an additional 100 horsepower. Which should give this tank a little more mobility, making it a little more fun once I get to that point. So, it is a little slow right now at this point, but, yeah, overall, I can't complain at all with it, really. And, you know, you had, we have to get the track so that we can put everything else on, because you have your weight limit. And I do have the radio. So, uh, yeah, as long as it's, you know, around 450 to 500, you know, uh, meters out, then, you know, I'll stick with that radio. But, you know, this here goes up to 710, so I should have good contact with all my allies. And, you know, of course, you're really going to help with your, spout, uh, with your scouting, you know, spotting the enemies, and relaying that back to your allies, giving you more XP. Because, of course, you get... 50% credit for any damage done to an enemy that you particularly spot. But, you know, at this point, yeah, I'm probably not going to be getting a lot of a lot of that because I don't have the engine, so it kind of takes me a little bit to get up to the uh to get up to the battle. All right, guys, so we're going to cut to some gameplay. I've got a short game on this one where it actually turned out pretty good. So uh, we're going to cut to that, and we are also going to cover our facts on it. Alright guys, so here we are at our playthrough. And as we can see here, I am about halfway up the list here. Alright, so on this map here, I usually like to go to the left or right, depending on where you're spawning from. But I usually like to take the valley, just because uh, when I get in a random group, I usually plan on everybody being fail. Um, at least on that side, you know, when the group just rushes over, I kind of stay back and, uh, you know, try to be the smart one, hold off the advance as long as possible, while the other teammates, you know, in the city or the road are able to push forward. That's general, you know, a general uh, good thing to do is just expect everybody on your team to be completely and utterly fail. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the valley and kind of, you know, take up our position and protect. Um, I know, like I said, I'm at the bottom, or, well, not the bottom, I'm about the halfway down the list here. Um, so this works out pretty good. And, you know, I'm, since I've got the 88 on this gun, I mean, it is slow, so I can't really flank with it too well, not at this point, but I really enjoy this tank so far. So, uh, yeah, if I'm enjoying this one, I'm going to love the Tiger, and uh, I know it's going to be kind of soft, but that's okay. As, if it can dish out some damage, I mean, I, my playstyle, I should be able to stay back high and shove some shells up, some tanks rear ends. Alright, so we're going to approach this right up here. And, uh, since we're taking, kind of got this break here, I want to throw in here, guys. I have added a new email. Or, I have a, a new email. Um, I would like to start doing, um, uh, some, uh, some submissions. So, uh, guys, you know, if you play World of Tanks, if you run across some, uh, some cool, you know, matches you'd like to have me voice over and post up on YouTube for you, um, give you all the credit, of course, and, uh, you know, mention your name and put it all up here on YouTube. Um, you can email them to, uh, wow underscore dar at yahoo.com. I will put a link in the description below if you're on my channel. And, um, I will also try to get links on, if you're watching this on TG and Verg, I will try to get that, uh, in there as well for you. Alright, so, uh... 
you know, I got that going, and you can see these guys, see, these guys went up and died, so I kind of backed up a little bit there. And these other guys are running in, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm going to back them up a little bit. You know, because again, you know, I can't take a lot of damage, but I can dish it out. So, see, he's got that T1 occupied, so I'm going to take some shots off at him. If he will hold still, there we go, we nail him. And if he will hold still. And we, oh, we got him trying to pop out there. Oh, my bad, it's an M6. Not a T1. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise that shot would have racked him. M6 got a little more armor to him. So, yep, let him finish him off there. And as we can see up here, we got a light up here um, distracting a couple of our artillery. So what I'm going to try to do is go up here and support him. Normally, I would, you know, I wouldn't rush headlong into it like this. However... You know, with the light keeping them distracted, you know, they're trying to shoot him. They're worried about him flanking them. So, me and this other VK here, uh, looks like he's pretty much got about the same upgrades I have. We're going to try to, you know, come up here together and get rid of these artillery. Oh, he's hanging. Oh, and he popped. They popped the light. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, toast. One artillery down. So, we, we got a few kills so far. Not too shabby. There's that easy eight over there. Now he's got a good gun on him. He can, you know, if he's upgraded, he can do some damage to me. Fortunately for me, it is an easy eight and not the E2. If it was the E2, you know, they have a lot more armor, and I'd have a little more of a fight on my hands here. But he does still have, you know, he does still have access to that good gun. With the damage he's doing to me, though, I would expect a little more damage hit me if he was fully upgraded. So I'm suspecting that he does not have, I believe it's the 76 on that tank for the fully upgraded. And we're, he's about gone, really, I mean. So I'm going to let the other VK take care. I'm going to see if I can't get the Stug over here. Just the top of him, barely. Oh, he's gone. Alright, and that's pretty much gonna wrap up this game it looks like guys um i'm gonna pull right up here behind this tent now this thing here will absorb a shot or two for you so uh, i always try to hide behind it if it is still intact and i always start my games out by running over it and destroying it so the allies you know the enemies can uh, use it when they try to cap us all right guys and another thing i wanted to mention is too um if y'all want to add me on you know, World of Tanks, contact me in game. I do play on the North American server. You know, I have no problem. We can get together, have some fun, and do some platooning. Always looking to team up, especially with the viewers, and, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun. Alright, guys, so we won that. I did get me a few kills here. Got some good experience and some good credits, but this was on the you know birthday, the one year anniversary deal for World Tanks, so I got five times experience. All right, guys. Well, until next time, guys. I will see you in game.